Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a part two reading in regards to the missing Madeline Kingsbury, or it could be Madeline, um, as far as her name, pronunciation. She's been missing since March 31st, 2023. I did a reading on her um, recently. Um, I want to look into the children's father. So, Madeline was last seen on the morning, March 31st, after dropping her children off at daycare, along with the child's father, was present. They went back home. He took her car, I guess, to do some errands or whatever he needed to do. So, this is information uh, I found out. Um, and I'm also hearing that although they were not together, I guess they were broke up, but she was in a, another relationship with a new person. So I know I picked up two males um, being involved in the first reading, and that could be what I was picking up. Um, not that two males are involved, but just picking up on... Um, I guess the two male energies being um, surrounding her. Uh, not sure, but I want to look at the energy surrounding the children's father. His name is Adam Fravel. Okay. Information that comes out in this reading is what I see, feel, and hear from spirit. They cannot be taken as facts, y'all, okay? This is for entertainment purposes only. I want to look at the energy surrounding the father of Madeline's children that morning. What's the energy surrounding him that morning, last person to see Madeline. What's going on with him? Some information he has given statement-wise to the police. Honest and correct information. Forgiveness, the first card pops out. I can't remember if this card came out before. But I immediately feel, uh-oh, oh, oh. I immediately feel, mm, oh, look. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Forgiveness, that's feeling some type of remorse, okay? And with this justice card, I'm getting something in regards to an imbalance in what he has said thus far. Okay, so you have someone feeling remorse This justice card, this represents law enforcement, but I also go with what I feel from this card in regards to Adam Fravel and how the energy surrounding him that morning, okay? I feel like there was some type of imbalance in the communication. We have this anger here. Um, I'm picking up a, a, a argument, okay? Things get it heated. And with this backstabbing, um, this could be either him feeling stabbed in the back or him stabbing someone else in the back, okay? And that's normally someone that you know. You feel betrayed. You feel um, um, taken advantage of, slighted. Um, and like I said, I, I do feel some type of, harm being done 
to Madeline. I'm hoping that's not true. But we're just looking at what the cards has to say in regards to the children's father's energy. Any more cards, spirit, regards to why is this backstabbing card here? Okay, mm -hmm. so we have, this card came out before, this card came out before. We have someone having an argument, someone wanting to walk away from a situation. We also have a release. This letting go is, I feel like, Madeline was, was trying to be a, a peaceful person in a situation um wanting to let go of of anything that no longer serves your highest good okay just she didn't want to be involved in this relationship whatever was going on in her life she wanted to release that okay and sometimes when we we want to make changes and stay away from negativity the people that we're trying to get away from they don't all the time they don't like it you know they get angry they want things to be the same things to be how, how like they are okay they don't like when someone is is putting up boundaries and um you know sticking to sticking to their boundaries, okay, that they set. Like, no, you're not going to continue to do this or do that. Someone wanted to walk away. Someone was not happy about it. Like I said, I feel like, oh, just careful with the decisions. Someone made a choice. Rash decision without thinking. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Someone wanted to focus on their self, their needs. Along with this anger, whatever was happening, there was fear. There was anxiety going on with Madeline. The spiritual gifts is also a message of, hey, you know, look at the signs. Look at the repeating things that's going on. Pay attention. This could be actually giving you a message like hey you know this is the time to do this to make this move when you have spiritual gifts come out in a reading it's basically a message that hey your spirit guides are sending you signs your angels they're sending you messages pay attention to the synchronicities she was moving on and Someone wasn't happy about that. I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to pull a few more cards in regards to the situation. Energy surrounding and travel. See, telling the truth. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. This Hierophant wanted to come out. This may be energy. I feel like there's some things that he's not being totally honest about. Okay, he knows more about what happened that morning. Um, but this Hierophant, this is traditions. Okay, um, this also re represents marriage, values, beliefs, education, um, conformity. So. He wanted things a certain way. He didn't want things to change. Things were changing. He didn't want that. He wanted things to be traditional. I don't know if, you know, how long they had been not been together. I'm not sure. But I feel like there were some things expressed he's not being honest about. Not to say that he's guilty, but to say that maybe it, 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 you know, some people leave things out out of fear, okay, of 
bottom of the deck, we have an ending here, feeling defeated. Another key word, backstabbing, betrayal, okay? The bottom of the deck. Look at this. I asked, was he being honest about his lack of involvement in regards to Madeline's disappearance? And I have a note here. Another note here. This is feeling defeated. This is someone surrendering. This is like bully energy, okay? You, you, you already know you're losing the battle here. <clears throat> with this uh, Five of Swords energy. Um, this is also mental energy. We have someone moving on, walking away with this Eight of Cups, okay? This is abandonment, this is, this is releasing, this is letting go, traveling, withdrawal. Um, and with the Cups is emotional, okay? And the Cups are all up right here, so a lot of ways, this card, it doesn't mean that, okay, this is a, a bad situation, but it's a situation where it's just, okay, you know what? It's just no longer serving you. It's, the happiness is, is, okay, it's just no longer there, and you feel like there's something better for you, okay? King of Swords. Someone. Hmm. This King of Swords could be... A person that's logical, that's of an authority, a power, uh, like authority figure or, or exerting your power. But this, this can also be someone that's detached, okay, um, unemotional. And I do feel like this is the male energy that I was picking up. This King of Swords could also be kind of harsh in their um, judgments and in their tone. And I do feel like this is his energy. And there were some things talked about, some things that he was not happy about, okay? Is there foul play? In regards to Madeline's disappearance. I just want to see what comes out. And I'm going to end this reading. Oh, goodness. All right, y'all. This card fell out as I was shuffling. I asked, was there foul play? We have the Two of Cups. This is about love. This is about a partnership, a couple. This is someone close that's involved, okay? And this gives a yes energy. I'll ask one more question. Let's put this back in the deck. Step out of play and now this disappearance. I'm card spirit. Bottom of the deck. We have the Emperor, yes, energy. I keep, I keep feeling force. Mm -hmm. Definitely with this Seven of Swords. This is lies, trickery, cheating, defeat. Although this is a baby, I'm saying this, there's, there's something not right with the situation. And someone is, is trying to... Be deceptive, okay? We got heartbreak here. All I keep seeing is betrayal, heartbreak, justice. Okay. I do feel like this is confirming foul play, and I do feel that law enforcement has an idea. They're waiting to get their ducks in a row. Is Madeline? Where is Madeline? Can she be found? Spirit, where is Madeline? I do feel she will be found. Queen is a whole other statement. Mm -hmm. Where is she? We got the King of Wands. 
could be a male that either comes forward with information or a male is going to find her. Emperor wanted to come out here. This is law enforcement here. We have two yeses. Hmm. Queen of Wands. I feel like this is her energy. And we have the Magician. We have three yes energies here. She will be found, okay? In regards to where she is, you have all people here, okay? I know I picked up heavy male energy. I did pick up two males. Maybe, you know, it's because of the people that's in her life or there could be two males involved. This this was some, some planning involved with this. And with this Magician card, this is having all your resources together. The community is out searching. It's, this is a community effort here to get down to the bottom of this situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to be turning um, the family is going to is going to be turning in, in the family's. Um, they're going to be able to have information. They're going to be able to get some answers. Okay, this will of fortune is is actually uh, upright. It's a good omen. Um, could Madeline still be alive and found safe? Yes, I could be. You know, we're going to hope for the best. Okay. Um, but I do like seeing this Wheel of Fortune here in the upright position. Um, things are going to be turning um, in a good light. So I feel like there's going to be information coming out. And I feel like this is going to be happening quickly. Okay. Teamwork. We have the community involved, family Um with this three of pentacles this is a commitment hard work they already have a reward out for her to help with information to find her she will be found um and i do feel she will be found alone hmm. all right y'all thank you for watching please share like comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings to you.